Monday was laundry day, the day after Sunday, the only day of rest for people in the olden days. Monday was the day when a woman did the weekly washing, usually taking the whole day, as it was backbreaking and hard work. First, dirty clothes were boiled to remove the worst stains. In the time before taps, water needed to be drawn from a well. Then the water was heated by lighting a fire under the tub or copper. Women added soap and used a possa or stick to stir the clothes to get out the dirt. Next, clothes were transferred to the wash tubs or trough using large wooden tongs. The Beechwood wash tub on display at the Redland Museum has three washing compartments. It was made over 100 years ago, around 1910. Washboards were generally made from metal, glass or wood. Rubbing wet, soapy clothes against the ridges of the washboard helped remove more of the dirt. From the 1800s, it was common to use bars of soap. Flakes of soap were grated into the washing water or into a soap saver and moved around to make a lather or foam. Another product used to stop white clothes from looking grey was laundry blue. This little blue bag was stirred through the final rinsing. Once clothes were rinsed, they needed to be wrung out to remove water. Some families had a wringer. It was also called a mangle. As Jill is demonstrating, the handle was turned so the rollers would squeeze out the extra water. With the weight of the wet sheets or clothes, this was a real muscle workout. As you can see, Jill's working pretty hard. For those families without a wringer, a child might hold one end of the clothing and the mother holding the other end would twist and twist until the water was gone. Because laundry day was such hard work, many companies invented machines to make the job easier. At the Redland Museum, we have quite a few examples of washing machines used in the Redlands in past times. This is a hand-operated washing machine that Jill is demonstrating, probably used from the late 1920s. The hand-operated light burn washing machine was used in the middle of the same century by a company that also made cement mixers. Can you see the resemblance? The Simpson electric washing machine is still in the old fashioned barrel shape. Think about what shape washing machines are today. What shape are they on the inside? Lastly, to completely dry the clothes, they were laid over bushes or hung on line, strung between trees or poles. There were many shapes and sizes of pegs to keep them on the line. Some pegs were bought and others made at home. The dolly peg is the most popular and well-known peg, still used today. On top of washing day, ironing was yet another day of hard work. So laundry day was an important job in the olden days. People didn't have as many clothes to wear and the ones they did have were protected by aprons or pinafores. The Sunday best outfit was only worn for a few hours at a time, for going to church or for a special occasion. A child from 100 years ago would have had one good shirt and one or maybe two everyday shirts. Take up the challenge, find out how many good shirts you own.